And I remembered the King of Shonen anime still exists. Just like I stated in the previous video, there was nothing going on for a long time, since it was once again nobody's fighting nobody's in battles that had no impact on the plot, and were always ending with willpower and the power of friendship. This changed around this time because the true mastermind behind the conflict appeared. So far the situation was grey, the humans were fighting the elves, and neither side was outright evil. It was a war caused seemingly by a few bad apples on both sides. But this was no longer the case when a devil appeared and began laughing about how everything was his plan. So much for the grey conflict, it was now just a generic one-dimensional ugly bad guy who was laughing like an idiot and even outright called everyone a fool for falling for it just to make it even easier for the audience to hate him. And it didn't even stop there. The devil didn't simply manipulate their desires and negative emotions. On top of that, he was also brainwashing them onto becoming mindless puppets. It's one thing to trick people into doing your bidding, and a whole other to take away their free will. The former takes effort and is smart, the latter is lazy and contrived. And thus, once again, the king of shonen anime proved how well written it is by taking a great conflict and simplifying it to a one-dimensional evil bad guy who doesn't have to use any tactics for fooling his enemies, because he can just brainwash them, versus a bunch of one-dimensional shonen good guys who are constantly yelling about friendship and juvenile ideals. And before any of you say that Black Clover was always a juvenile show for kids and not a grey seinen, I will remind you how the fans were calling this arc a masterpiece for having a grey conflict where the bad guys were not that bad and the good guys were not that good. It's mature and so much better than gay food. And as soon as the devil appears, they completely forget everything they were hyping for months and went back into being hyped about broken power levels and one-dimensional teenagers yelling about their emotions like madmen. And that is what you can expect from the fans of the King of Shonen Anime.